Hi, this is George from Car Clinic at uh, 1401 North Dixie in Lake Worth, and today we're going to show you how complex cars are. And we don't want you to try this at home, and these are some of the reasons. Uh, years ago, you could work on a car at home and, and figure everything out easily. Now things are a little bit complicated. This, for example, is an emissions canister. Uh, these are made out of plastic. And this is probably the number one reason for the check engine light to go on. These uh, canisters tend to wear out and you can also accelerate the wear on them by when you gas up, if you keep clicking the gas to try to get to that zero dollars or an even amount, you can damage these emissions canister and they are extremely expensive. Uh, the manufacturers have done what they call uh, compact uh, parts and this is a complete control system for an air conditioner on a General Motors. Uh, this replaces three different switches. Uh, the good news about it is that it's compact and it's all one unit. The bad news about it is that it costs more money. There's nothing you can do about that. If they break, you have to replace them. This is another integrated part, and believe it or not, those of you Ford owners will see that this is a uh, radio and an air conditioning control system. And what Ford has, do has done is, is they put the unit together, which saves space and weight. However, this unit is well over seven or eight hundred dollars. Uh, sometimes you can pick one up at a junkyard and save a couple of bucks. But again, they saved space and weight at your expense. Uh, this part here is called a, a shock as a strut and this will replace uh, an upper control arm and a ball joint. Again, it saves space, it saves uh, weight, but it's more expensive to replace this than a regular shock. Um, this, as you all probably can see, it's a window control switch for the driver's door. Everything is compact, it's all one unit. This is almost $400. And once they break, again, there's no repair. You have to replace them. And this is an air conditioning compressor. And they've made these lighter. But at the same point of making them lighter, they tend to wear out a little quicker. As you can see, there's the body of it. And this is a very light metal. And they have a tendency to leak around the seams because of the light metal. In the old days, they were made out of steel, and they would last forever. So. That's how technology is making the cars today. Uh, a little bit lighter, a little bit more compact, but the parts cost a little bit more. Thank you.